Good afternoon. You know, it's my privilege to greet you as the family of God tonight. It is so great to be connected to each other. And during this time that we're living in, uh, a lot of us are staying home because of the coronavirus. Uh, I just think it's important to realize that the Word of God is not bound. It's not uh, limited. That um, when God speaks, things happen. And also, we don't want to neglect uh, taking communion. Uh, this act of obedience in which we honor the Lord Jesus and remember him and give him his true focus at the center of our lives uh, is a big deal. And um, there's no reason not to take communion and to remember the Lord. Um, having said that, there's some challenges. Um, what if you don't have any grape juice in your home? What if you don't have any wine? Well, I remember the story of um, some folks who were prisoners and not having wine, not having grape juice, they uh, remember the Lord using water. And uh, after all, Jesus' very first miracle, he turned the water into wine. And so uh, he can certainly uh, bless our taking of water as the wine, uh, the symbol of the wine. And uh, if, what about the bread? Well, um, my preference, my first choice would be to find something that's unleavened. And uh, because in the Bible, leaven uh, or yeast uh, is a picture of sin and that it's pervasive and that it expands, if you will. And, uh, but you know, if I didn't have any crackers, if, I, if, if they were not available, I would use bread. Um, I'd use rice if I had to. I'd find something that could be the picture of Jesus's body to me. And uh, finally, the last thing I want to say is this. Uh, right before that first communion service, Jesus said this, I earnestly desire to share this meal with you, he said, this feast with you. And so the Lord wants this time with us where we make him the focus, where we remember him. So uh, if you need to, stop this video and go get prepared. I have already done so and have uh, some crackers and some water. And uh, I'm ready to go. But if you need to stop this and come back, that's uh, perfectly acceptable. Okay, in Luke 22, we have a record of that first night. It says, And when he had taken bread and given thanks, he broke it saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so we want to just take a moment and bless the bread, realizing that it's a symbol of much more than just wheat, flour, and water, and all that stuff. Lord Jesus, we just uh, take this cracker right now, and we just ask for your blessing on it, that it would be a picture of the gift that Christ gave when he sacrificed his life for us. And all God's people said, Amen. So Jesus broke the bread, and taking the bread, he ate it, and uh, saying, do this to remember me. So we take the bread, and we say, Lord Jesus, I remember you. You are not forgotten during this time. I understand that my connection with you is the most important thing in my life. In the same way, Jesus took the cup after they had eaten, saying, This is the cup which is poured out for you in the new covenant. In some churches, they, they pour into another vessel uh, in order to drink it. But this is, represents the new covenant, the covenant of his blood, that what he established with his blood. So we want to we bless this now. Father God, we honor our Savior the Lord Jesus Christ, for establishing the new covenant, the new agreement that lasts forever. We thank you that our forgiveness and our blessing is not a result of anything that we have done, but because he lives, we live also. As you take the cup, say, I remember you, Lord. I remember you, Lord. And actually, that's what we want to do throughout each day, is take little moments, take little breaks, if you will, and just 
make that God connection. Easter's coming. I don't know what it's going to look like this year, but in it, we celebrate. We appreciate, we value the sacrifice that Christ made for us. And we declare our connection to him. We say, because he lives, we live also. So whenever you get a chance, whenever it comes to mind, God reminds you, just say, stop for a second and say, Lord, I remember you in this day. And all God's people said, Amen.